Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday morning, 6.45. I'm going to show you this. I was going to say the sad state, but no, we need the rain. So it's rainy this morning. Um, whew. I uh, did not get out of bed in the morning, you guys. I didn't get out of bed yesterday or today. I think I told you yesterday. I don't know, but until like five. Ridiculous. So <clears throat> it is a good thing that I have made the decision to go down to two videos a week and that it started this week because I already have a four looks one palette that I had done for Saturday. So it just kind of gave me the, abil the ability to not need to film in the morning. I need, I was going to put a necklace on of some sort to try to spice things up. You can tell, um, even by my makeup, I, I just wasn't feeling it. I, um, I think today it's going to be a rest day. I don't think I'm going to walk today. Cause I, let's see, I walked Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. I guess I've walked seven days in a row. Did I walk on Thursday? I think so. Maybe eight days. I, I don't even know. Anyway, the point is I should probably take a little break. All right then, I'm wearing the necklace that um, Laura gave me for Christmas. It's actually really cool. It has, I'll show you in the mirror, but it has um, like this pretty teal on one side and purple on the other. So it should work whether it flips or flops on my neck today. So, um, same jeans as always. I mean, not the exact same jeans, but the same brand. Um, <clears throat> I know it's probably boring to you guys, but clearly I'm not going to buy jeans every day. I mean, what's the point of that? So, <laughs> so I just have, this is a navy blue um, tank from Reese's that I have underneath. And then this sweater is from Reese's as well. I got it last year, but I, no, maybe, maybe two or three years ago. It's held up so well. Not all of the Reese's sweaters held, hold up as well as this one has, but I mean, it really, and I like it because it's a little bit lower in the back. Um, and it's perfect for this time of year, especially in the office where it's cooler in the office, but it's warmer outside. I think it's supposed to be low seventies today. So, um, yeah. And then there's the necklace and it like that or like that. And it would work with this outfit either way. And then my shoes are, uh, my sandals are Franco Sarto that I got at TJ Maxx a couple of years ago. They're just, I shut the camera off on myself. And I don't have any earrings on today because I don't. That's about, that's about that. Um, okay. So, <clears throat> we're having salmon for dinner tonight, which is good. It's those pre, I, I buy them pre-seasoned and frozen or whatever at all. At, at, not at all, at Sam's. Alright, so, I was just pulling out my lunch and I realized that we only have two packages of vegetables, you know, for those of you that don't know, I cut up vegetables at the beginning of the week and I don't know, either I miscounted or maybe, oh, you know what, we had salads last night and I used some of those that were cut, so anyway, I'm going to cut up this head of, head of celery, stuff, is this called a head? How do I not know what celery is called? Bunch of celery? Bunch, it's a bunch. I'm going to cut it up anyway and put it into little bags um, and then I'll show you what I'm taking for my lunch. Now that we have that handled. I will show you what I'm packing today. I'm having lunch with Carissa today. <clears throat> and the, one of the places I always go for lunch, I've talked about this before, is um, it's a place in town called Beans and Books. And it's a local a local place. It's not like a chain or anything. And they sell used books. It's a coffee shop. And they sell used books. But they also have a different soup each day. And they have different wraps. And their wraps, I think they make them on the flat outs, if I remember correctly. Um, and they're the whole wheat ones, which is nice. And so I kind of switched between two of them. They have a Greek wrap, which is hummus. Um, there's a Greek dressing on it. Lettuce, olives, feta, tomatoes, cucumbers, all of those things. So I switched between that one and then the Santa Fe grilled chicken, which has lettuce, tomato, salsa, grilled chicken, and a little bit of cheese, shredded cheese, and then um, a little bit of ranch dressing. I think that's everything that's on that one. So I switch between the two of those. Um, or sometimes I get soup. just depends. Oh, I got to get my blueberries. All right, I'm going to pack up. It is 7 o'clock. I'm going to head off to work after I finish watching my good friend Kristen Kay. So, my friends, it is noon. And I have decided 
Oh, I did. I've decided. I, I, I don't know what that. I came home from work. I don't remember the last time I wasn't at work, um, but I just can't keep my eyes open. So, um, and like I'm lightheaded and I have a lot of pain in my shoulder today where the, where the shingles are. So I am going to listen to my body, listen to all of you, take the rest of the day off. I'm just making um, a couple eggs and a piece of whole wheat toast. And I'm going to sit down and chill and hopefully fall asleep in my chair. So that is the plan. And if I don't, then I'll try. I'm going to try to go in the bedroom maybe and see if I can sleep. But at any rate, um, yeah, I'm listening to a dear friend of mine who um, threatened to come up and manhandle me if I didn't go home and rest. So <laughs> I am going home. I'm home and I'm resting. So just so I would give you an update, let you guys know. I just... I'm going to rest. Good morning, everybody. It is 6.30 Thursday morning. Aye. And um, I, Bob just left, actually. There's something, a big deal for them going on at work today. So he's working later, so he went in late. He's just working different hours today. Um, what's nice about that is that he brought in the garbage today. Um, and we know, it was, we know it was picked up, if you guys remember from last time. Um, that sometimes I have to check to make sure the garbage is picked up, but we saw the garbage trucks today. So today I'm just wearing nothing super exciting. Maybe I'll take this, this sweater I'm just wearing for added warmth for this, for the moment. It's supposed to be like 80 some degrees today. So let me take this off. Hang on. All right. So, uh, I think I got this at Lane Bryant last year, but it's the, the it's one thing I don't like about it is this hem flips up, but I feel like these are uneven. But anyway, it has just a little tie ruching on the side, um, and so it goes up and down in the bottom. And same jeans I always wear. That's my work badge. And same sandals I was wearing yesterday. Oh, these earrings are from Charming Charlie. So, yeah, it was. it's cold in the house a little bit. Not super cold, but a little bit. And I know it'll be cold in my office, so I just have this sweater that I'll put on when I'm in the office. But when I go out in public... This is what I'll look like. Oh, yeah. So, I, um, after I checked in yesterday with you guys, I pretty much sat in my chair the rest of the day. I did kind of nap a little bit. I'm not a napper. Um, I usually end up feeling worse when I nap, but I did fall asleep. Oops, I gotta grab my water. I did fall asleep for probably about a half hour, 45 minutes, maybe 45 minutes yesterday at some point. Here. So that was good. We had salmon for dinner. Those those are really good. I'm going to show you guys those quick. Um, we got them at Sam's and we will absolutely get them again. We only have one left, which means there must have been five in this package. Um, but this is what they look like. They have a little kick to them, but not too much. So I really like them. They're really good. And I like that they're individually packaged in here. They're in like their own things. And Bob really likes them. So for me to be able to get him to eat fish that isn't battered and fried, it's a feat, really. He'll eat like shrimp, you know, like grilled shrimp. But he doesn't like when I order baked fish, he doesn't like that at all. But he likes that. So that's good. So tonight we're having, um, he's having leftover can't remember. Something else we have in there. And I'm going to have the other half of my salmon filet. Because those salmon filets are six ounces. So that's a lot. So we had that with some green beans. And um, from the freezer. Which came from our garden last year. We are almost. I think we have maybe ten more containers of those. And then we're supposed to be going for fish tomorrow night. But um, I'm going to talk to my friend Kim today. And I just don't. I just need to. <laughs> I'm just going to rest. So I am going to go for a walk tonight. I'll go for a walk tomorrow night too, but I want to just, you know, come in and get some good rest after that. We have to go to Bob's sister's um, on Saturday in the evening. Kind of a... So my nephew's birthday was on the 29th. He turned 15. And we want to have a little celebration for him. And um, also kind of a Mother's Day sort of thing. So we're going to just grill out and stuff at her house and chit chat a little bit. So I think we're leaving here about three o'clock because I live roughly 45 minutes away in Green Bay. 
And then on Sunday, my brother, so Tim and Kristen, his wife Kristen, Maggie and the twins, and then my mom and dad are coming over for Mother's Day. So we're going to grill out some chicken breast. And I think, because <laughs> I wasn't sure what I was going to make, <clears throat> excuse me, but somebody reminded me that I owed you guys, um, I'm not going to, I don't think I'm going to do a cooking with Kristen video on it. Maybe, I don't know. But um, potato salad, the potato salad that I always make. So um, if I don't do a full video on it, I will do, and I'll just show you and show you the recipe and everything like I always do. And um, I think I'm going to do just a green garden salad to go with that as well. And I have to, we pulled some strawberries out of the freezer that we had sliced and frozen, but um, we think they've been in there for two years, which they might be a little bit iffy. So we're thawing them out now so that I can take a look at them and see. And I was going to do just like angel food cake with strawberries on top. All right, I just had a little sneezing fit. So I think we're going to do angel food cake with strawberries on top. If those are okay, if they're not, I'll maybe just get some fresh ones if they look decent. I'm not really sure what we're going to do for dessert, but we'll get it figured out. So that's kind of where I know what's going down here in the next few days. Should have some good footage. Always a good time when the whole, when, not the whole fam, but a good chunk of my family comes over. So, all right, I need to get to work because I was, like I said, gone for yesterday afternoon. I want to go in and get caught up. 6.35, I'm out the door. Good morning, everybody. It is 6.15 Friday morning. I just put perfume on, I can see it like shining. So I'm getting out of the house early today. Um, I need to go to Walmart and get some stuff before work and that sort of thing. So lots of errands to run on my lunch and after work, it seems like anyway. Um, so, all right, crazy hair today. It's really humid for Wisconsin, it's really humid. And um, so sometimes when it's like that, I just have to embrace my girl. <laughs> And that's what I'm doing today. So necklaces, well here, let me just turn around. So this is the first time I think I've worn like straight on capris. These are not your daughter's some jeans, capris. I don't remember exactly what they call, but I got them on whole look. Um, and then these shoes, which I love. These are one of my favorite pairs of shoes. Um, I don't wear them all that often. But anyway, they are from Lane Bryant. This tank top is that... Sejour, I think is how you say it. It's S-E-J-O-U-R brand. And it's from Nordstrom. I have this one and a hot pink one. I really like them. They have nice length to them. And then this little sweater thing I got from Aerie, which is like that sister company to um, American Eagle, I think. Jewelry is from Loft, both a necklace and earrings. And this is Stella and Dot. So that is that. Um... Do I need anything out of here? No, I do not. So <clears throat> I'm going to pack up my lunch slash snacks for the day, take my vitamins and get on the road so that I can get to the Walmart. I'm feeling much, much, much better today. Almost completely back to normal. Yay. It's a beautiful morning, by the way. The sun is pretty much up, but it's still a beautiful morning nonetheless. Sorry, with the screen there, it's not as pretty to look at. It's supposed to be high 70s today. Yesterday, I think it was 83 when I was out walking. Um, I don't know. It was supposed to rain last night, but I don't think that it did. So, we need the rain, though. <laughs> uh, at any rate, let's see. What do I have to update you on? So, Bob's sister had to reschedule Saturday. So, um, we aren't doing that, which is a couple of less dishes that I need to make this weekend. Um, so that's kind of actually good. We'll have a little more chill. This could be a boring weekend. What are you going to do? Sometimes you have boring weekends. Sometimes you have weekends. By the way, you guys are so funny. A lot of you were like, ah, uh, I thought we were having less vlogs. How come there's more <laughs> vlogs? Well, I just had so much footage from Bob and from myself that I kind of had to put it up and if I waited too long it wouldn't have it would have been too late and I felt like it wouldn't have made sense so I just put I just edited it edited it I got them together and I put them up <laughs> so um I want to show you my try to show you my face of the day I was going to tell show you my face of the day and I can't remember what blush I'm wearing I know it's from Hourglass but I can't remember which one luminous blush um so that's what's on my face, a little bit of flush. Or on my cheeks, I should say. I don't know, totally lost my train of thought. So, 
Um, let's try here. Sometimes this is good lighting. So I have a, actually a combination of the Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation and the By Terry Foundation mixed together and on my face today. The By Terry is a little bit light. The Laura Mercier is a little bit dark. The By Terry is a little bit drying. The Laura Mercier is a little bit um, almost luminous, too luminous. And um, I, while I love the Laura Mercier and the coverage of it, it doesn't last very long. The By Terry seems to last a long time. Point being, I mix them together and um, we'll see how it goes, but I like the finish. Luminous flush on my cheeks. On my eyes, I have the Camp Cosmetics Serenity at Sunset palette. On my lips, I have Sephora uh, number 12 African Violet from the Cream Lip Stain line. All right, so with that, we are supposed to go for fish tonight. It would be fish night Friday, or Friday fish, whatever. We go every other week, but um, we are not going because I need to rest and um, it's just kind of been a long week for both of us so we decided not to go so I'll come home go for my walk and then chill out but anyway I'll check in with you guys later on that for sure all right I'm gonna take my vitamins pack my stuff up and head on to work well it's 5 30 and I totally forgot to show the Aldi haul well, uh, I know Walmart haul. <laughs> that was put away before I even got home my goodness um, so I think I told you guys we weren't going for fish tonight. Um, and actually, it ends up being a good thing. There's some issue with Weiser's cat, and she has to go to the vet, and they have to be delayed. So that's not good for the cat. Um, but anyway, uh, I went to Ollie because I needed to get some stuff for... Whoops. Toothpaste down. Oh, boy. <laughs> I had to get some stuff for um, Sunday because we were hosting Mother's Day. Oh, sorry. I'll let you say hi. Hello. Hello. Remember me? Oh boy. Oh, they remember you all right. <laughs> How could they forget? Right. Um, anyway. <laughs> so, we are, I'm just putting my toothpaste in tropical, no, mango sugar scrub. I should probably haul that this weekend. I think I might film a haul. Anyway. <laughs> Hi. Uh, so, because we're not going for fish, I ran to the store before I came home to get the chicken breasts because those need to get marinated. That's what Bobby's doing right now. We marinated them just in Italian dressing. So here's what's going down. Dressing in the bag, chicken breasts in the bag. End of story. Right. Pretty simple, folks. Pretty <laughs> Two days. Two days? Two days. Oh, yeah, in the, the, in the marinade. Yeah. Yeah. Minimum. You could three is good too. Yeah. No problem. In their thawed. We put them in thawed. Yes. Not yes, frozen. Yes. So, and I didn't, couldn't tell. Doesn't it drive you crazy when you can't tell how many chicken breasts are in a package? Two. Are there two in there? But they're big. Yeah. Those we'll are big chicken breasts. Up, yeah. So, um, so we have eight. We have, I think, what did I say? Eight adults and Maggie. Um, so that should be funny. Because we'll cut those all in half. Anyway. Uh, I'm going to go for a walk. I think I'm going to do my long walk tonight, which is the... Th did I tell you guys that I Put measured... Put the spray on. I will. I did yesterday, and they left me alone, too. Um, it's, it's about three miles. Takes me a little under an hour, give or take. Um, so I think I'm going to do that walk tonight, just for something different, because it's a different way. Um, and, yeah, that's about that. That's all I have to report. You have anything to report, Mr. Game? Garden's planted some of it. Mm -hmm. Are you going to show them that tomorrow? Maybe. Maybe. They're walking. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have a graduation party invitation here, I bet. And, oh, it's time for me to go to the dentist. All the time. What? I go every six months. I was oh. just there on order day. You were. Yeah, we're, we're about a month behind each other usually. All right, I'm going to go change my clothes and out for a walk, and we have to figure out what we're going to have for dinner. I'm going to Fleet Farm. He, <laughs> he is going to Fleet Farm. We'll show you what he has when he comes back. How about that? Maybe. They're lucky. Well. I gotta <laughs> cut my some grass tonight too, yet then. Oh my goodness, so much to do. So I think for sure. There's no should... time for eating then. There's no time for eating? No. Nope. Can I get that on record that you are not going to eat anything for the rest of the day? I mean really. Who are you kidding? I'm eating. Let's be real. If you think I'm gonna go the rest of the day without eating, you got a couple of screws loose. Right. 
Um, I had ba I, I'm sorry, what? Look at me. Right. You don't get like this by not eating, folks. Okay? <laughs> I watch what I eat, but... You're buff, honey. You're buff. I'm pro-semi-buff. You're pro... <laughs> you can't be pro and semi. You're either pro-buff or... <laughs> oh. And Bob Games World, you can. Oh, I'm sorry. So Do you me, forget? I had... <sighs> No discussion. What I'm trying to say is, how are you feeling? Buddy? I had, I am feeling better. I'm tired, yeah. but yeah. I am. Um, oh, I don't right. have as much pain in my arm anymore. It's That's this arm too. It's my vlogging arm. Shoot. It's a real problem. I wonder if I can get workman's comp for that. <laughs> okay, six forty-five. I just got home from my walk. I did the long walk, which is three miles. I, I said that earlier. Way to repeat yourself, game. Bob's at the fleet farm. And he decided, you can open this. I feel like I could use a little air in this room. Um, he decided that, sorry, that he wants um, fried chicken, like chicken from the deli, like deli chicken for dinner. And I said, you have that, my friend. I will not be having that. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to, well, I do have all kinds of things I need to haul here. I got my Arbon stuff. Um, so I'm going to shower the bug spray off of me. Um, and then I'm going to probably just make a protein shake. Not like the one that I have in the morning with just, the one that I've been having in the morning is just the Unjury protein powder and almond milk. Um, and I've been, normally I, I I haven't been doing that like for years in the morning, but because I had to take that medication, I have to take it with, um, with food or milk or something. That's why I've been having it in the morning. And I think that's probably a good thing. I may go back to having one every single morning just to get that added kickstart of protein and kind of kick my metabolism in a little bit. Anyway, just thought I'd share that. But I think when I have one at night, like for dinner, I do the protein powder and the almond milk and then a little, um, two tablespoons of that Justin's almond butter, which I love that almond butter. I know I've talked about it before. Just the plain one, not the maple one. The maple one is fine if you're going to have it on toast or something, but the plain one makes your smoothie so much better. It has such a really good nutty flavor. And then usually I put in six frozen strawberries so it gets kind of like frothy and it's a little more filling or something. So anyway, with that... I'm going to go get in the shower, <laughs> and we'll see what Bobby brings home. Well, hello, everyone. Bob here. Got the camera. Oh, I might have been a little high there. Um, just to let you know, it's Friday evening. I just returned from a shopping trip to the Fleet Farm. Um, and the reason I went is um, maybe you've heard about this in, plas in past vlogs, that I've been meaning to get raspberries and blueberries planted out here in the yard for quite some time now. Um... We've got one apple tree out there right now, and uh, it doesn't do very well, and I think it needs a mate, and I think that's going to be next year's project. Um, I found out that I can pre-order my trees this fall and save a ton of money, and then I'm guaranteed trees next spring, so I will have them to plant. And right now I'm planning on getting like two apple trees, two plum trees, and, and two cherry trees. Um, so we have our own little orchard there, and then they can, you know, pollinate off of each other or whatever. So, but anyway, I went to the fleet farm tonight, and a, um, I've been meaning to plant blueberries and raspberries for quite some time, and I finally, finally uh, bought them, and this weekend's project is going to be to get them planted. Um, excuse me if I'm swiping, the mosquitoes are terrible right now. I don't know. I mean, they are bad this year already, and... Uh, it's, it's pretty early for up here in Wisconsin. But, um, you know, Kristen, if you know, I, I love fresh fruit. I love raspberries. I love blueberries. I, you know, I, I just love them. And, you know, Kristen, she'll, she drinks her protein shakes and she eats a lot of yogurt. And a lot of times she'll, you know, she just buys the regular flavored yogurt and she'll um, spruce it up with some fresh fruit. So um, why not have our own? We, we're not going to have any this year, obviously. Probably not even next year. Probably going to take a couple of years. Um, to uh, 
before they uh, uh, start having fruit. So, um, with, so with the blueberries, I bought two different varieties. Um, got them from the Fleet Farm. They say full sun on them. You know, that's one of the most important things, and I'll be doing some vlogging about the garden this weekend, too. Um, this is a Chippewa blueberry. The plant looks pretty healthy, and this is a blue crop blueberry. So I bought two of those, both in full sun. For the raspberries, I bought uh, three plants, two different varieties. I bought one of the Latham raspberry, full sun, and then I bought two of the Heritage raspberries. And these were on sale. That's one of the reasons I went there. These plants were all on sale um, Saved about five bucks a plant right now. Um, so that's one of the reasons I went there. I could have waited, but, um, you know, the, the Fleet Farm the Fleet Farm Garden Center is open from usually mid-April through mid-June. And usually around Memorial Day, 1st of June, they start slashing prices because they want to get rid of the stuff before they take the garden center down. Um, and I could have waited, maybe even saved a little bit more money till then, but then you don't know the quality of the plants you're going to get either, so... Um, that's why I went and I did these now. They were all, they were on sale, so I went and pulled the trigger and bought them. So, um, so, like I said, three plants of raspberries, two different varieties, so I'm planning on getting those in the ground. And then I bought some roses. I'm going to try some roses, trying to spruce up the place a little bit. Um, I bought, uh, I think they're both the same variety, but I bought two different. This is a snowdrift, so it's going to be pretty white. And this is a, looks like that's cashmere, so it's a nice dark red one. Plants look, you know, pretty healthy again. So um, once they're in the ground, you can see the leaves are different on each one. They're a little different, so I should be able to tell them apart once I get them in the ground without having these tags and stuff on them. So, um, so yeah, that's going to be the plan. Actually, I'm going to go out and cut the, the grass because I'm... Um, uh, we were supposed to go to my sister's this weekend, and she just, you know, she just purchased a home in Green Bay, and we were going to have a little get together tomorrow, Saturday, in the afternoon, um, and that got canceled. So, um, what I'm going to do is there's an auction I want to go to tomorrow, and it doesn't start till 11. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out right now, and I'm going to cut the area, cut the grass in the area where I'm going to put all these plants. And then tomorrow morning, if I, you know, if I get up and feel like it, I might get some of these in the ground right away in the morning. Otherwise, I'll wait till either the afternoon or Sunday, one or the two, after everybody leaves for the Mother's Day festivities. So, and I want to cut the grass. The grass needs to be cut, so I'm going to be planning on cutting that this weekend. Um, one other thing I wanted to show you, another purchase at Fleet Farm. And you can get this at Walmart, I'm sure Home Depot. Um, I've been, I did some weeding today around the landscaping and I've noticed that the ants, not only are the mosquitoes bad, but the ants look to be pretty bad too. So this is something, uh, this is a pretty neat little product here. I was introduced to this by my friend James a couple of years ago. Um, it's made by Taro. Uh, not that expensive. I think this bag was six and a half bucks at the fleet farm. Um, and all you do is take this kind of shaker, it's a shaker bag. So you just walk around the, your house and shake this out. That'll keep the, supposedly keep the ants from uh, getting in your house. And I, I can't complain. I mean, I've been using this product for probably two or three years now. And we haven't had any ants in the house um, since I started using it. And like I said, it's got the shaker bag. So this just opens up here. Um, I'm going to put the camera down for a second. Sorry, folks. I want to get the bag prepared for you. But it's got a slider, and then when you pull this open, oh yeah, there it is. Okay, I got it. So when you pull this open, you can see the little holes in there, right? All right. So what that does is, and I'm putting the camera back down. It's got a slider top, so you can close it. So I'm closing it up, but it's got a nice handle on this side. So you just open that up. Just open that up. But you open up your slider bag and the stuff will fall out and you just walk around your house and shake this out along the edges of your house. So, um, and it works pretty good, like I said. So, All right, with that being in mind, I'm going to get to work here and get back in the house because the mosquitoes are already eating me alive. Um, I'll light up a stogie. The smoke from my stogie will keep them away. All right, bye-bye.